So welcome to these incredible series of very, very brief, radical recipes. You're gonna need stale bread. You're gonna need old crinkly peppers and tomatoes that are so soft that you really think they should just go in the bin. You might need a little bit of onion, olive oil, a little bit of apple vinegar, a bit of garlic, and a bit of imagination. Now, this recipe is called Samurai. What makes it interesting in this specific moment in time is that we're living in a world in which COVID-19 lockdowns and travel restrictions mean that the only taste you're gonna get of perhaps Mediterranean life in the near future is through food. Secondly, you may be saying to yourself, I am not particularly interested in cold soups. That's something foreign. Well, remind yourself that with global warming, the heat is moving ever northwards and you're gonna find yourself with a similar temperature to some of us in the south pretty soon, if not already. Now, the important thing about all these incredibly interesting recipes is that they consist of the older stuff you've got around in the kitchen, hanging around the bottom of the fridge, the stuff that you're about to put in the bin and throw outside. Well, don't do it. What you're gonna do is going to add them together in this mix of which no single element by itself is of extreme importance. It's the combination of them all that gives you the strength and flavors. And the way that you mix it all up is gonna produce you an incredible life sustaining food for days ahead you can keep in the fridge and you can add to it and decorate it in ways that you wish. Now traditionally it's served with ham on the top whereas ham are placed on top of it though there are recipes from the Basque country that place chips on top which is an alternative and as a pescatarian myself I substitute the ham for a little bit of tuna pepper and a bit of onion. So, enjoy the recipe and keep an eye out for the next one in the series. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, pff, why would I want to learn about recipes from the heart of the deep south in Spain? Well, this particular recipe comes from a region called Cordoba, which was the capital of Muslim Spain for oof, centuries and centuries, certainly longer than Spain has been a Catholic country. And to give you an idea of the sort of stage of which Cordoba had developed as a civilization, I'll read you a couple of lines on this book here. 
In the ninth century, when London was still a small village composed of mud huts, Cordoba had over a half a million population with over 100,000 houses, with balconies, underfloor heating, gardens, orchards and fountains. The city had over 70 libraries at a time when paper was unknown in the rest of Europe. So it's no surprising they came up with some damn fine recipes too.